And here we go, the monkey hunter problem. Indeed, the classic 2D motion problem. Physics students all across the country are subject to this problem every fall. If you're not familiar with the problem, a hunter sees a monkey hanging in a tree, realizing that when he shoots, the monkey will probably become scared and let go. The, the hunter must decide, should I shoot, aim above the monkey, directly at it, or below it? Which of those will help hit the monkey as it falls? So that's the question. So we decided we could test it. And the easiest one to test would be, what if we aimed our projectile directly at the monkey? Um, what would happen? So we rig up an electromagnet, we shoot, and we see that it hits. So aiming directly at it seems to be the way to go. At least that's what the evidence suggests. So now we need to back it up with some physics. So to, uh, to make the physics a little easier, we'll just pick some, some arbitrary points, say 10 meters away, 3 meters up. You can use whatever numbers you want. If you aim directly at it, you can use a little bit of trigonometry to figure out the exact angle. Remember, we're aiming directly at it. In this case, the angle is just over 16 degrees, 16.7 degrees. Um, so give it some initial velocity, say 80 meters per second. Anything will work. So then you have to put the bullet and the monkey at the exact same place at the exact same time. The bullet is in two dimensions, the monkey is in one dimension. Horizontally, figure out when the bullet gets 10 meters to the right, which is exactly where the monkey is. So, using some of the kinematic equations, um, figuring out the horizontal velocity, you can figure out the time that it takes the bullet to get 10 meters to the right in my picture. Now figure out where the bullet is vertically at that time. We know the bullet's vertical initial velocity, acceleration, we know the time. Where is the bullet at at that exact same moment? So using the kinematic equations again, we can figure out the bullet's vertical position. All right, how does that help us? Now we go to the monkey. The monkey is going to fall for the exact same time the bullet is in the air to get over the 10 meters. So figure out how far the monkey falls. Once you do that, you'll have a distance down. Because remember, the monkey started up 3 meters, so subtract that away from 3 meters. That vertical distance should be exactly the same as the vertical distance of the bullet. So you've proven that the bullet and the monkey are the same place, the same time. So our claim is that we should aim directly at the monkey. Our evidence was supported by our experiment that we worked. We, we shot the, the projectile and hit the ball when we aimed directly at it. To connect the evidence to the claim, we used physics to back it up with all of our kinematic equations placing the bullet and the monkey in the same place 